So today we are going to continue from where we stopped. This time we are going to add a functionality to be able to edit this record. When we click on this edit button, it pops up, uh, it, it displays a model pop up with the, all the text fields, and then we are able to uh, make updates or make some modification and then submit. So that is what we are going to do on this. I'm going to also remind you to subscribe to my channel. If you've not subscribed, click on the subscribe button below this video to subscribe. And then, so let's go to the back end. Now, this button for edit and delete will be different from the one we use for add. Remember I mentioned that add is quite easy, but edit is a bit different. So what we want to do is that when we click on the edit button, it's going to run a code in a jQuery code to set the items uh, gotten from the particular uh, item clicked is going to populate the model uh, text fields with those items. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to copy this, the model form for ads, actually uh, it, I copy the copy and paste. So I actually already copied and pasted the model form for ad. So change the name to ID uh, edit. So that is what you should do. Change the name, the name of that form to ID edit, and change the action to to save. I think that is the name of the controller function. For let's see. So the con controller function for edit says. Uh, says, oh, what happened? So, delete, add new, save. Yeah, this one, save, all right? So I'm going to set the action on that form to save, which I already did. No, no, which I already did. So you can see, save. Now the method can be post or put. So generally it should be puts. For edit, you actually use puts. So now we want to, in such a way that when we click on the edit button, then we are going to show that pop model form. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, <coughs> I'm going to uh, actually assign a name to this form, like a class. I could give it an ID, but I want to give it a class, edit button, and this uh, this form is deletes button all right so we now want to write a jquery code to do that we need to create a custom jquery javascript file uh, and to create a javascript file you need to create it inside the static folder i think inside the static folder if i'm not mistaken yeah inside the static folder so i'm going to say new or uh, new folder First, I want to create a folder called JS. So that's where I'm going to put all my JavaScript. So let me create a new uh, a new JavaScript file if I can find. Okay, I don't find it in the list, so I'm going to just say new order, and I'm going to choose. I'm going to choose JavaScript. So JavaScript source file. Nice. So I'm going to call it main.js. Okay. I'm going to finish. So we have a JavaScript file. I'm going to add this JavaScript file to this page. So um, I'm going to add it to this page. Um, so I'm going to use one of these. Be able to have the JavaScript file. Uh, the, the source this time will not be here. It's going to be slash slash um, static. Okay, okay. Main main the JS. Okay, so is inside the JS. Um, it comes out once. Comes out once again. So I think we are correct, but I could just cross check. So we have static, so I'm correct. So it comes out once. Okay, that is fine. All right, so um, 
So we've added this main.js file. What we want to do now is when we click on the on the on this edit button, it's going to it's going to load the modal form. So I'm going to start with a document, a created document. When the document loads, document ready function. Okay, so I'm going to save. I needed it to give me some kind of uh, collaboration, but it doesn't. So, uh, this edit button is in the table. It's in the table uh, class. It's inside the table. So I'm going to select. I'm going to select dot table. Okay. Uh, the table dot edit button. Yeah. Okay. So when the edit button is clicked, so it means that I'm going to say, let me shift this one a little bit down. On click dot on. On and the event is going to be click. So when it's clicked, we need to run a function. We need to execute a function. So always never leave this space here. Execute a function. Right, so I'm going to start this. Alright, so give an event here. Okay, so what is going to happen is that we want to display the form, uh, this form. So I'm going to say or select the form we want to display. The name of the form or the div is is is, is the ID of this of this tag. I mean, let's just check. So the ID of the tag of the model we want to display is a date model. Okay. So it means to select if we use a hash key, a date model. Uh, okay. So I will say dot model. Okay. So this is what we have when we click on the edit button. We need to display this form. Okay. Let's test this before we continue. So if it works, we, if we expect that the form is going to display when we click on the edit. All right, so I hope everything started perfectly well. So I'm going to come here. I'm going to press F5. I'm going to say edit. So nothing happens. So it means it kind of doesn't work. So uh, let's cross check what we have here. Document the trading function. On click. Okay. okay, so um, do we get anything wrong? No. Um, so okay, I, I guess. Let me let's let's just do something. Let's say console dot log. Okay, so I'm going to just put a semicolon to end this. So let's see if it gets to this point. So I'm going to just restart the application. So let's see. Okay, so it seems everything started perfectly okay. So let's go to now to the page. Let me press F5. I'm going to show the console. Right, so this is the console. So you can see failed to load resource in the main file. So that is where the problem is coming from. Main.js is not loaded, so let's see. So if we go back to nationality, uh, to yeah, to nationality. So let's see the specification for uh, static 
Oh, so we have static. We, we should specify js slash main.js, okay? So that is what we are missing now. So static js main.js. So let's restart the application and see how this time, hopefully, it is going to work. Um, okay, so I think everything started perfectly okay. So let's get here. So I'm going to click on edit. Nothing happens as well. So it failed to load the resource. Main the JS line one. So let's get back there to see main the JS line one. Documents dot ready. Uh, document dot ready function so see a typo there so that is one thing we have issue with so rerun it again so I hope it works this time if it works then we continue with loading this uh, I'll show you how to then load the, the data into the uh, test boxes so because for now the test boxes is really going to be empty Okay, so this is where we are, control F5, so click this time, hopefully it's going to work. Look at how static, static main.js. Okay, so, so the, the problem is coming from, I'm going to show you, so this is what we are going to, just give me a second, let me just make sure we get everything correctly. So we have, this is static JS, which is okay, SRC, which is okay. But we also need to specify this so that time leave is going to find it since it's been hosted on the server at this time. So let me just copy. So the, since it's a dynamic page, time leave have to we'll find it only if we use a time leave um, annotation. Oh, sorry. So we add this at the end of this. We add this SRC JS. So time loop is now going to use the relative path to find it. So let's rerun this. Let's run it again. Start JS. Okay. So because time loop actually looks into the static folder to find whatever files you have with the JS or CSS files. So hopefully it's starting, so I'm going to press F5. Let me show my console again. So this time it says working, as you can see. So if I click on edit, you can see that it displays the modal form. So in the next class then, we now see how we can populate this form with the items from uh, from the particular item that was clicked. So I'd like to thank you for viewing. Remember to subscribe if you can subscribe. So.